I was physically assaulted. You were the master manipulator. You poked and poked and poked and poked at me until I broke. But you Sam, got what you wanted. Sam, who now, helped, however, who helped, who helped however, you? Who helped you? However, iron? who taught you how to let's iron? Let's get to this who, first. Who was the let's only person that walked first. up to you and helped you iron your clothes? Who was it? However, oh, Amy, we Sorry. are back on Access Hollywood Live with Robert Sepulveda Jr. and Eric Leonardis from Logo TV's Finding Prince Charming. That was the reunion show. Yeah, well, this is, wow. I've never seen that clip before, but it did go down. There was a lot of screaming, mostly from that gentleman, but we all know that, you know, he obviously has some deep-rooted psychological issues, uh, and that'll all come out on the reunion on Thursday. Uh, that's the first time I've seen that clip. Wow. Yeah, Eric, well, you I know a little actually, bit more about them yeah. and the house. Well, I, I actually got to see that from the viewer point of view. So mm -hmm. I got to see all of that going down from that place and uh, watching them. You know, when we give people enough time and they reveal themselves truly, you know, truly who they are. Mm -hmm. Was it like mm -hmm. that in the house, though? Was it a lot Absolutely. of drama? I, mean, I and... think from my point of view, the drama, I think Logo brought it down. You know, they like they wow. were able to bring some of the what drama down. What did we see, Eric? Well, there's a lot of yelling. I mean, like the, the specific scene where Sam spits in Dylan's face, um, yeah, yeah, um, wow. was far more intense than that. Yeah, I wasn't in the house a lot, so I got to hear all this while I was hanging out with the guys, but, um, you know, a lot is revealed on the reunion and a lot of stuff that I didn't even realize was going Hooking on behind up my in back. The house. I, 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 there, there is a there's story. some stuff <laughs> that was going on. You know, people were trying to call me out, but at the same time, they were actually the ones doing stuff behind everyone's back. It's, Ooh. it's fascinating. They fascinating. found their own happily ever after. <laughs> they, they, I hope they did. <laughs> I, ho happy I hope ending. they did. I hope they did. <laughs> Would you guys do this show again? Because it started off, and then a lot of poking into both of your backgrounds, mm -hmm. and you had to reveal stuff that maybe you wanted or didn't want sure. to. Would you do it again? Um, I'm grateful for the experience because I learned a lot about myself, my relationship uh, with uh, friendships with other gay men. I learned a lot about being in a relationship, you know, of having that put out there. You know, uh, being on reality television allows you to see yourself from a perspective that most people don't get that opportunity to look at. And you can see yourself and be like, oh my God, that's how mm -hmm. I look. That, those, are, those are my real mannerisms. You know, I, we're not actors. We're sure. the, the only real thing about real reality television is the people and their feelings, you know? The, the situation is, is, mm -hmm. is something I would yeah. never find myself with 13 other guys in, in a house dating the same, other, same person, but I did. <laughs> I, feel the, I feel the same. I mean, I, I wouldn't be able to be a suitor, but you know, I, I enjoyed being The Bachelor. I enjoyed tackling issues of my past. I enjoyed um, you know, hearing about everyone's past. Everyone has yeah. a beautiful dynamic story and they confronted their stories and they confronted the pain of their stories on the show. So it was a beautiful thing all around. So what goes on from here? I mean, you guys are truly just getting to know each mm -hmm. other. Yeah. So what happens next? Well, I'm, I'm living in LA now. Yeah. I am starting a new business, a new venture. I'm doing furniture and doing candles. It's called Our Shea Collection. Um, and I want to work more with charity organizations here in LA. I want to do more nonprofit stuff and um, you know. Yeah, I just moved into a new salon uh, and called Public Service in West Hollywood. I'm really excited about that. He cuts and my hair. He does a great job. Nice. <laughs> good. But boys, I think we're saying, are we together? Or are we not together? What are we doing? Well, we, we definitely are still getting to know yeah, each other. Yeah, we're getting other. to know each other. Yeah, um, it takes time. For, uh, through some of this and some of the feelings that I've had, um, being nervous and scared about just putting everything out there, you know, we definitely have leaned on each other through some of that, been able to walk each other through those those yeah. moments. But are you boyfriends? We're going to be in each other's lives for. <laughs> <laughs> we're really. Pushing. We're going to be in each other's lives forever. Now we're forever bonded, connected. connected through the show. And first of all, first and foremost, we're friends, and we have a lot of respect and a lot of love for each other. And I think that is what the mission of the show was, and I think that's what it accomplished. It accomplished you danced around it, but I can tell you're friends. You guys care about <laughs> yeah. each other in that part. Yeah, of it. absolutely. Yeah. Um, the yeah. Finding Prince Charming reunion special airs Thursday at 9 on Logo TV. There will be fireworks. Tune in to that one.